Hey guys, and welcome back to Drop the Mic. So listen, I need y'all to get y'all popcorn, okay? Get you a drink. Whatever kind of drink that you may have a drink on this Sunday morning. Whatever you like to snack on. Because this right here is some tea, okay? It's funny. It's uh, informative. <laughs> And child, I just don't even know where to begin. So sit back and relax. And let's get right into the mess. Okay. you guys remember that everything that I say over here is alleged it's in my opinion and it's for entertainment purposes only so you guys know that there has been so much drama going on in these YouTube streets okay I mean it has been one scandal after another okay so much so that I can barely keep up it's been crazy but today we're going to talk about love and marriage huntsville and the kiki scandal okay y'all know that the kiki scandal in, involves a content creator okay? so listen y'all know kiki has been struggling with this particular content creator because since the houston trip her and her mom have kind of been in like some put in a weird position. Um, and I'm going to say put in a weird position because of themselves and because of the content creator. Okay. Nobody hands is clean in this. And the reason I say that is because that's how I feel. So to be clear, y'all know Kiki went on the Houston trip. There were some things that occurred on the Houston trip. And she was upset. She was upset. She called her mother. Her mom got upset. And boom, it was done. She called a blogger. Okay. She called a couple of bloggers, actually, to be exact, um, and content creators. But one in particular immediately took that information, came to social media was crying and snotting and all that stuff and said that there was some real something really terrible that happened and actually pointed all of the uh blame to Mel Cherie. Never included anybody else from the cast, pointed all the blame to Mel Cherie as if to create a narrative that the mom and Kiki were talking about this young lady, Mel Cherie. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, I've heard all sides of the story. I've heard the receipts and I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. I'm not convinced because I still haven't heard the lie. I still have not heard where Kiki lied at. What I heard was her covering up for her mother because her mother had talked a little bit too much and her trying to um, assist and cover up for who she considered a friend at the time because she didn't know that this particular blogger was a snake okay in her opinion he's a snake he crossed her by going on live and insinuating that it was one person because she said she never said anything about that person now mind you this blogger said that he had all of these receipts where she was dogging Mel Cherie out I still have not heard those receipts. Now, if he got them, I'd like to hear them. But what he presented, and I've listened to the recording several times, was a young lady that said, listen, what you did, I don't want you to look like you like looking bad out here or whatever, because I know my mom did come to you and vent. But listen, she didn't vent about one person. And the only venting I did was because at the time I was upset because I thought she should have had my back more. And I told her that to her face. 
okay? And that has been her story consistently. No matter how people try to spin it, y'all, I'm sorry. One plus one equals two with me. I show me where she lied. If y'all can show me where she lied, then listen, I will revisit it. But I don't see where she lied. I see where she did some covering up. Okay, but I don't see where she lied per that recording. Okay, so let's be, but and actually, you know, um, I think she, you know, might have said, Oh, I don't talk to this person, I don't talk to that person, whatever the case may be. A lot of people gonna say that because they don't want to admit that they talk to content creators behind the scenes. All right, that's that's like the only thing that I see that was like a lie. Okay, now that's my position on it because again, I haven't seen anything. Um, that recording that I heard to me is misleading because she really wasn't saying much. She was saying, Hey, we got to get out here and get in front of this story. Um, and she asked me to clear it up because this blogger got her out here looking like freaking Evelina, the Wicked Witch of the West, or like she did something wrong. And honestly, she really didn't do anything wrong I was just upset with her because I felt like she could have had my back a little more period okay that's it that's how I see it but y'all it gets deeper okay and the reason it gets deeper is because you now have ammunition for the snots okay you know the snots in my opinion have been trying to throw Kiki under the bus for this entire season Okay, this entire season, they have been riding her back like a donkey. Okay, first is with the Home Depot stuff, then it's with her addiction, um, all of this stuff. Then, when their little weird threesome story came out, that again, I don't believe, um, they tried to blame it on her. They've been doing everything to try to get this girl fired or off the show, in my opinion. In my opinion. OK, um, Kiki not speaking to her because of the I mean, uh, Tisha not speaking to her because of that whole threesome stuff is straight up Fugazi. It's a fake diamond. It's Fugazi. If y'all don't see through that, I don't know, because, again, she wanted a reason to be mad at her cousin. Again, they using this girl as a scapegoat. And because she was new to reality TV, she really didn't know all of this stuff was going on, in my opinion, in my opinion. Now. Y'all, Kiki and Marceau have been going back and forth on Facebook. And when I tell you it is epic, it is epic. Okay. So let's start off with the post that started it. Marceau puts a post out and he says, when God said he going to make our enemies our footstools, we're supposed to provide the list or does he have one? And we just supposed to put it in order of priority? Well, honey, I don't know what about this post pissed Kiki off, but it did. She came up in the in the comments when milling. Okay, so the first thing she said was, "Man will provide you with jobs and everything. He is no doubt good, one hundred percent, one hundred percent in the praying hands." Then she comes back and says, "Because somebody said, huh? They didn't understand what she was saying, and she said enemies as footstools." He will use them to help put a little money in your pocket. You know, you know how, for example, you have family on a job, then you get introduced to that job because they were on the job first. Then after you get the job too, the family turns on you and becomes your enemies. Like this is an obvious scenario, sis. In my opinion, I guess she's saying her family turned on her, right? So she says, so somebody comes back to her and says, Kiki, just like you did to Letitia, she was on Love and Marriage Huntsville and you had and had you on a couple of episodes with her. Then when you thought you landed a more permanent role on the show, you turned on your family. Shame on you. Kiki came back and said, child, no, I didn't. Turn your shirt outside in. <laughs> so someone else said to her, I understand now. I'm praying for one family in particular, and that's yours. Love and peace to y'all. So y'all know who had to come in the comments, right? Y'all know Marceau won't go let this go. But he might should have stayed out this fight, y'all, and I'm going to tell you why. 
in a second. So then he says to Kiki, you kind of got to be on the same battlefield to be considered an enemy. Like most of the quarterbacks in the NFL don't consider me their rival. We're how that works. So honey, then he come, then he goes on to say, Kiki, he can also use blockers to put money in your pocket via cash app. Hashtag thanks brother. So then Kiki comes back at him and says, Marceau, hey, you ain't know a smooth, easy hundred dollars. Praises be to him. Ask him why that hundred dollars instead of three fifty. Then she goes, Marceau, you're absolutely right. Because who the fuck are you? Thank you for helping me see the light. You are correct. You are beneath me. Peasantries. So then Marceau comes back with his bitch ass and says, Kiki, what I've learned in this road of life is that there are always going to be cars in front of me and behind me. I just focus on my car and the passengers I'm responsible for delivering safely to their destination. So I'm okay with being beneath you. But let's be clear. You and I don't have a beef or a relationship. This comment is a deflection from your ongoing issues with blockers. You are exactly who I said you were and your friends, in parentheses, the bloggers, are doing nothing more than proving it. You don't get to start a phony exchange with me because the bloggers recorded you and your mom tucking your tail, crying, and being controlled by another woman. I guess they mean uh, Melody Cherie. They so jealous of her, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this ate up. They ate up with jealousy. Don't get tough on me when you were crying because you had to lie on a friend slash brother to fans. Okay. You were recorded. We heard it. Scared of what people might say? You went against your own truth, against yourself. Shaking my head. I'm disappointed. You used to have a backbone. So Kiki comes back and says, Marceau, I thought you could comprehend better than that. I only simply commented. You should know me better than to think I run from anything I say it. I attempted to clear up the fact that there was misinformation and that this was shared prematurely of which I did not share originally. But once it was shared by my mom, I wanted to protect that at least until it aired. I never tucked my tail or cried. I had a bigger issue with you than her. That I had a bigger issue with you with her. As far as my di- disappointment, you did that in the worst, most betraying way to me a very long time ago. And then I tucked my tail instead of being extremely vocal to you about how I felt about what you did to me that I had never done to you. And I don't give a shit about no damn cars in the literal or figurative sense. I stand on what I said yesterday, today, and tomorrow. I wonder what he did to y'all, what he did to her. See, I know, I, I think I got an idea of what he did to her. And I hope she aired his ass out. People just took words that should have been mine at the appointment time and put their spin on it publicly which is exactly what you did and we know he can do it the difference is what you did actually hurt and i cried many tears at the betrayal of a quote in quotations brother but that shit prepared me for this same difference except it didn't hurt this time neither have i shed one tear you were indeed my first lesson to this thing called betrayal by a quote brother same way he shares misleading information about that hundred dollars is the same way you share misleading information about supposedly helping me and quote picking me up off the side of the road when even you know that wasn't true if i can take that from you taking it from him ain't shit you are the first al Cause I didn't do anything to him, just like I didn't do anything. I just like I did nothing to you to ask for betrayal of the worst kind. Hashtag family. I'm with Terry. Fuck the family. Now, I ain't trying to be funny, but I am a context clues person. 
when she said I'm with Terry and fuck the family. Y'all got to know what movie that came from. What movie did that come from, y'all? Ding, 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 ding. Soul Food. What happened in Soul Food, y'all? What happened to Terry in Soul Food, y'all? One of the, that motherfucking cousin, one of the cousins, the, 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 the husband hit on that cousin. Now, let me say this. I ain't saying that's what she said, but I am a context clues person, baby. And Marceau seemed like that dirty, low down, disgusting type of motherfucker that'll do that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think that he have hit on her before and she just never said nothing because she ain't want to hurt her cousin because that's the kind of cousin that I think she is. Now, all of this is alleged and it's in my opinion, but again, I'm a context clues person, okay? You don't reference something unless there is reference in it for you. And Marceau is a dirty dog. We see how he looks at Mel. We see how he looks at Mel when she comes in the room. He addresses her with his eyes. That nigga done tried to hit on Kiki before. Mark my fucking words. I don't know though. Okay, so then Kiki also says, oh, and to be fair, I guess what the bloggers and YouTubers have said about you is right about you too, 100%. That part. So of course he comes back and he responds and he says, Kiki, no, they are wrong about me, but right about you. Nigga, we write about you too, okay? They recorded your conversation. The idea that just because they lie on one person doesn't mean that everything they say is a lie. Child, make that make sense. Gaslighting. You were on the recordings. Saying what? What was she saying? She was just trying to clean up a situation. What was she saying? That's gaslighting, y'all. Those recordings are gaslighting to me. I'm just saying, in my opinion. You did the live after the recordings and you lied because you always lie. What did she lie about? Please say the lie. Historically, you have been able to lie well because you you were telling your stories to one person at a time, family and friends. However, you're being caught in your lies now because you can't seem to keep them straight and people record you while you're lying. Kiki said, Marcel, I did not lie. Tell me to lie. I said he got inf- misinformation, which was true because it was made more than what it was. And because my actual beef was not was not anything that she did, it was about other things that I couldn't say because the show had not aired. It doesn't take a small dummy to understand that. Give me the live verbatim. <clears throat> That's what I keep saying, y'all. I want to hear the lie because I still haven't heard the lie, y'all. I have not heard the lie. I'll wait on it because I bet you can't. It's simple. Info got out prematurely because I vented to my mom. She shared the info and when I found out, I attempted to clear it up until the show aired. It's not hard at all to understand, so I'll wait on the lie. Please point it out. And I'm telling y'all, that's how I feel. Point the lie out. I still have not, listen, point the damn lie out, y'all. And then I'll be made a believer. I think we are, I think this is smoke and mirrors. And it's easy to believe that she lied about something. But again, what is the actual lie? I'm a factual person. I need the facts. You, what is the lie? I don't like to be gaslit and I don't like people telling me stuff, but only telling me a portion of it. What the fuck did she lie about? Please say that. And then I'm telling you, then I can look at things differently right now. I'm, I'm still kind of like, what's up? All right. She also said, Marcel, they also gave a picture of you in bed seemingly taken by another woman. That's not you, right? Get the fuck out of here. Wrong about me, right about you. Just wait and see. Exactly. Explain the back picture. Explain the back picture. It's a reason why he want her to look like a liar, y'all. It's a reason why. And y'all, Tay said this. Y'all, Tay always get me thinking. Because she's, you cannot bullshit her. Okay? You just can't. It's a reason why they want Kiki 
to look like a liar, okay? Y'all keep that in mind when you're dealing with scammers and scan artists, okay? I always do. She's, she, she is the lowest hanging fruit, in my opinion. The lowest hanging, okay? Okay, Kiki, Marceau Scott, let's get it in then. Name the lie. I'm ready and waiting. She keeps challenging people to name this lie, y'all. No one's been able to name it yet. We even had a young lady on our panel, and Tay challenged her. Where is the lie? And she couldn't think of what the lie is, which tells me that their gaslighting and smoke and mirrors is working even amongst the fans, okay? They don't know why they mad at Kiki. They just know they mad at Kiki, but they don't know why. And I still haven't heard a recording of her dogging the fuck out of Mel. She said she was upset because she didn't like what Mel had to say to her at the time. She told Mel that to her face. So again, I like, I gotta hear it. I'm sorry, I gotta hear it. Where's the lie? Okay, when you just stick to, when you're dealing with a person like Marceau or Silence of the Lambs, you have to stick to the facts because they are, they are experts at manipulating, okay, words, manipulating things to make you believe or lead you in a direction to make you believe something. It's the art of manipulation. Okay. Some people are very good at it. Most con artists are very good at manipulating. Okay. That's why you have to separate the, <clears throat> how, what, what is the saying? Um, eat the meat and throw away the bones. You got to separate the bullshit from the real shit. And when you're dealing with people like a Marceau or a Silence of the Lambs or anybody like a Martel, like a narc, okay, and like a person that loves the gaslight, you have to stick to the facts. And that's all I've been doing in this whole situation. When it comes to anything that anyone says, I don't care. I don't want to hear I got, I have, I've seen, I don't care. I want, I have to see them for myself to come up with an informed decision. I don't like to base my decisions off of what someone else says. Okay. I like to base my decisions based off the, off of the actual evidence that I have seen. Okay. So I'm basing my decision. The, and, 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 and my hypothesis off the evidence that I have seen, one, and I have heard, two. And based off of what I have seen and what I have heard, they ain't got shit. And this is a smear campaign, in my opinion. Everybody can think what they want to think, okay? And I'm not saying that Kiki never came out and lied about some stuff, Um in the beginning when she would say, well, I don't talk to bloggers or I talk to bloggers and say, that. listen, every, I think everyone has. Okay. But I'm talking about what she was initially accused of, which is saying or, or uh, dogging Mel Cherie out. I just don't think she dogged this girl out. Okay. I think she was upset because of something that she said to her. Okay, and she didn't, she wasn't ready to hear it at the time. And she told her this. That's what I think. And I think that it was expressed to someone else. They expressed it to a big mouth. That big mouth came on and made a big deal out of it because that was their agenda from the whole, that was their agenda from the gate was to smear Mel Cherie name anyway. So that was the gas and the fuel they needed to smear her name. Or try to smear it and make her look like a bad person. And then it just blew up all in Kiki and her mom's face. That's what I think. That's the conclusion I've come to based off the evidence that have been presented thus far. Okay? So, y'all. Y'all gotta tell me what the crap y'all think. And I know this is a lot. This is a lot. Okay? Y'all gotta tell me what y'all think. And I know everybody's opinion is different. I know it. Okay? But... Again, I have to go off based off the, the receipts that I have seen, okay? I cannot go based off no one else's opinion. I feel that that's when you're being led. I, I, don't, I don't enjoy being led 
to a decision. I enjoy coming to the decision or the, I'm sorry, the conclusion myself based off of what I've seen. I don't, I, I keep a very keen eye on anything or anyone that tries to lead me to a conclusion instead of saying, okay, look, here's the facts. You come to your own conclusion. But if you try to say, well, I know because it is and that and the third and the fourth, but you don't show me nothing. No, no, I wouldn't. I mean, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's a sheep. I'm a leader and I got to see the motherfucking facts and the evidence and the receipts and the receipts got to be receiving. That's another thing. They can't be spliced together and put together. And, you know, one minute you hear all this music, the next minute you don't. To me, that is questionable. Why am I hearing, like, what is this? Why is it sounding like this is two different conversations? What is going on? I'm telling y'all, don't be so easily led. It's easy because it's manipulation. And, and trust me, these people are good at it. But I ain't easily manipulated. I'm sorry. I might be for a few minutes. But once I sit down and start really tapping in the spirit, it's a no for me. <laughs> it's a no for me. So that's it for this video. Because I think this one is kind of long. And I want y'all to really chew on that. Right? I want y'all to chew on what I said and drop down in the comments and tell me what y'all think about what I said okay but I know one thing Kiki read him in my opinion and I do think that her reference to the movie Soul Food is a very telling reference in my opinion okay when she said fuck the family now I don't know what character she is but I'm willing to bet she is the character where the husband tried it I don't think it was successful but he tried it and this goes back to my girl's hypothesis she has been saying this from day one y'all he have always hated Kiki for some reason he have always had venom for Kiki for some reason it's like she knows something about him that he hates the fact that she knows so he always comes at her sideways and always tries to discredit her always always she's always said from day one that Marceau have tried to be inappropriate with this girl and I think we got our first context clue as to that could be the case. Hop down in them comments. Tell me what you think about everything that I just said. Hit that like button and I'll see all you guys in the next video. Bye. What's up with you?